Your Excellency Gilad Erdan, Permanent Representative of Israel to the United Nations. Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, at the outset, let me acknowledge in particular the Holocaust survivors who are joining us for this solemn remembrance event today. The International Holocaust Remembrance Day, 27th of January, marks 79 years since the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau, the largest of the Nazi concentration and death camps. Today we honor the lives of the six million Jewish people, Roma, Sinti, and countless others who suffered and perished during the horrors of the Shoah. It is with profound humility that we mark this occasion in the presence and grace of those who survived this unparalleled depravity. The poignant accounts and extraordinary courage of survivors shock the world and summon humanity to action nearly eight decades ago. Today, those who tragically perished and the survivors are the powerful animating force behind all we do at the United Nations to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war, to promote and defend human rights, and to work relentlessly for a more just and peaceful world. It is true, as Ellie Weasel observed, that for the dead and the living, we must bear witness. Promoting the memory and education about the Holocaust is therefore essential to ensuring that the crime of genocide is never seen as either normal or justifiable in any circumstance, and therefore to work towards ensuring that it is never repeated. The harrowing stories of the survivors and those who risk their lives to save them play a central role in our collective remembrance of this dastardly episode in human history. They are stories of ordinary people who took extraordinary actions to resist unspeakable brutality. People like Joanna Eck, who sheltered Jews in her small apartment, like Irina Sendler, who smuggled children safely out of the Warsaw Ghetto, and like Jean Darman, a teacher who joined a rescue network to save Jewish children. There are countless more heroes and heroines who rose to the occasion in the face of enormous personal danger to save innocent souls from an unthinkable tragedy. They are reminders of our duty to deter, repudiate, and counter hatred and intolerance without any reserve wherever such heinous crimes against humanity occur. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot and must not be complacent. We see an alarming surge in hate speech across the world, while rising anti-Semitism and xenophobia have stoked fears that Auschwitz is only sleeping, as Seizure Stoika, a survivor of Roma descent, once described it. Today and every day, we must recommit to do more than just say never again. We must live our lives daily by this mantra. The Holocaust must forever be a warning to all of us to stay vigilant against widespread hatred, racism, prejudice, and intolerance, divisive and destructive views and forces that seek deliberately to dehumanize and often to demonize human beings on the most spurious of grounds. In the memory of those who were lost and in honor of those who survive, we must strive towards a common future that is safer, free from fear, and characterized by mutual respect, tolerance, and harmony. It is high time we learn 
to live together as equals in dignity and respect for all, by all. I thank you.